All right, we got the crowbar. Um, so... As I said... The alpha, to me at least, seems to be pretty good. One hour later. Oh, maybe daylight savings time, Mono Ice. We're here in the US, so um, I think our daylight savings is sooner than EU daylight savings. Yeah, we did change them. But that was, um, two weeks ago, I think. But either way, like, that's... Whoa, <laughs> where am I? Alright. Ripped my no-hit. I really like the axe thing. Um, Oven Knight. Oven Knight having the shield, like preventing it from getting just one tap, I think is really cool. Arizona doesn't follow those rules, really? I didn't know that. Hey, Yoshi. Yoshi, we're gonna be playing your, uh, your game a little later tonight. I think I saw you just got a new item in that game, some kind of carpet. It's like, how are you still getting games? Thank you, Spud. I mean, not games, getting items. And Isaac. Not Gungeon, Isaac, right? All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to take this fight. <clears throat> we'll break the door. Get that bonus crit. Holy moly. The boy. You haven't played in a while? Uh, I wonder if I was looking at somebody else's achievements then. Well, either way, you all still know a lot more about Isaac than I do. So even if you haven't played in a while, it's still really good feedback for me. All right, we got rat champions in the game. Uh, is there a release date for 1.8? Well, for the new monsters, definitely not. I feel like we may be uh, fighting these new monsters for a little while, especially if we have a bug today. If there's any kind of bug, I feel like that pushes out any update a week. Now, typically, We've gotten stuff go, like, to beta really quickly lately. Uh, but I don't even think these things drop any items. So maybe we're gonna be a little farther behind than we thought because of the fact that they don't have new items yet. Uh, Ash Toner. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Can we get some highs in the chat for Ash? Brand new to the channel. Seeing never before seen <laughs> Mushroom Boy gameplay. Actually, I think I'm doing halfway decent right now. I mean, famous last words because we are going to Arbitorium. Wait, this map is huge. Is Prison Depth supposed to be this big? Ow. 
I love how the boy made like a grunt when I was the one who hit the floor that hard. Yeah, I bought it on Steam, Yoshi. I had to. It was probably due by now. Finding of Isaac is my first game on the Switch, though, so it's not like I didn't get any use out of it. I most certainly did. Wee. But we'll be fine. Yeah, a couple of you all have actually been telling me about N++ because we were playing platformers. Wow, the map is left to right to left. It's like really awkward. I guess. Just have more red on the board. Just start dig. Oh wow, I just went to the right thinking that's where I'm supposed to go. This is really awkward. I don't know how I feel about going right to left. Um, let's do... I honestly think you're supposed to go combo. But because we're on this map, I'm gonna do Berserk first, and then I'll do combo after. Yes, yeah, see how the doors are like pointing in two different directions? One opens outward and one opens inward. Oh, we dropped some frames, too. My bad, everybody. I know how I feel about that. Let me just check Steam. Doesn't look like any updates are going on. So, I mean, we should be good. Oh, I got the, uh, grenade launch. Hey, form. You get why they did it? But it should be reverted. Yeah, I, um... Definitely unsure so far. I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I'll learn to like it. I don't know what I like better, the crowbar or the fans. Ow. <laughs> My mushroom boy didn't protect me. The only issues you're having with the stream? Browser is having problems decoding the video. That's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that before. But I know for a fact that we dropped some frames, so that's an issue. Let's get this teleporter. And then go back. 3000th duel? What kind of game is that? Because it always shows up in my inbox. Is it like a romance of the three kingdoms or a civilization kind of deal? Wow, seeing the two boys fight each other is definitely cool. But yeah, don't forget to break stuff on the map to make your crowbar stronger. I'm definitely not doing that at all. Take that.
Nothing crazy right now. Just gotta figure out how to kill uh, thornies. Without getting reflected. Oh. Apparently the boy can do it just fine. You fight giant monsters Dark Souls, Dark Souls style. Has been out for long. I have to take a look because that wasn't the kind of game I thought it was. Not to say that I really looked at it. Like I said, it just like Steam gives you those reminders that oh, don't forget, 3,000th duel will be out soon. I'm like, I have no idea what that is, and if I should care. But usually it's chat who tells me if I should care or not. Which is always appreciated. Yeah, as you see, you can uh, use the fans. On throne boys. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't really like the fans very much, but for stuff like this, I think it's actually kind of fun. Believe it's on Steam as well. Yeah, I'll definitely have to take a look, Skull. Now that I've played a Souls like in a while. Wait, fans are kind of sick. I wouldn't try to parry, like, actual bullets. But for everything else on this map, it's actually kind of decent. Just too slow? Yeah, using, um... Melee mutations is usually a good idea. Oh my goodness, I can't hit any of this. Oh, I thought that was my boy. I thought that was my boy. Like, oddly dark down here. Wow, that was a turret that covers the ground with oil that burns. Real nice. But no, I get it. Fans can definitely seem slow. As I said, I don't think I would advise actually trying to parry any bullets besides maybe the Inquisitor. Anything else is probably a death trap. Oh, I like the little short hop he did. Okay. Moving on. I didn't even know there were monsters down there. I don't know how I avoided all of that. You know, I wonder if the Oven Knight I don't really like the name Guardian Knight. I think Guardian Knight's a really lame name for that monster. No offense to the devs, of course. It's just like kind of basic, I feel. Oven Knight, though. That's a name. Because they have little furnaces on their bellies. Pointed out by chat. I won't steal it. Of course, I'm the one who said Oven Knight. But there was, yes, somebody else who said their bellies look like little ovens. I will not take the credit for that. But yeah, especially because they berserk. They don't really seem like they're guarding anything. What's going on with the music? Seems okay for me. 
every once in a while I have people ask about the music. Oh, that was weird. Furnace Knight? Exactly. See, that's ten times better. Oh, we got a med kit. Okay. <laughs> Crowbar, by the way. Twitch speeding up and slowing down to catch up to live status. And are you not supposed to notice that? Like, as a viewer, you're supposed to just, like, seamlessly catch up. I mean, if Amazon's able to do that, that's incredible. But I feel like that's really weird. Uh, hey, Tupac. Mm. See, that's the slow fans that you all were talking about earlier. Like, the only reason I got hit there was because the fan is too slow. Of course, if I had melee mutation, it wouldn't matter. Which Emmy drops the crowbar? Apparently, it comes from a lore room. No monster drop at all. In prison quarters? Uh, because I'm playing on the alpha. There is no lore room for me. We basically are finding everything on the floor. Game and voice sometimes sound a bit more high-pitched. Are you sure that's me not just freaking out? Yeah, you want to find it? Like I said, I think it's a lore room. Now, of course, this is alpha content. I think the crowbar is on live? Or is it just the skin? That's on live servers. Wow. He, no, that was the boy. I was about to say, he just jumped off for absolutely no reason. Okay, so that's the Guardian Knight. I want to break the box. That gives us the crit. Wait. <laughs> he's a little scary. Okay. Maybe he's not so scary. Save me! Get him! Nande! Risk Marine 2 is hard, but it's just another roguelike with a learning curve. Yeah, you'll be fine with it. Alice, are you playing solos or are you playing uh, with a party? You might even be queuing with randos in Risk of Rain 2. Imagine playing that game with three random people that can take any item that they see. Grapple Crowbar. Interesting. You have one friend. That's enough. Me and Kage played uh, just a duo session the other night. And that seemed fun. Alright. I think we're done here. That was honestly one of my better... Arboretum maps. Typically, we get the break... Get the breaks beat off of us. For some reason, I can't talk today. 
but this one was not half bad. All right, 60. We have stuff that I should probably take. Goodbye, crowbar. The level four crowbar. It did its job. Goodbye, my friend. And then... So if we have... What's the cooldown on grappling hook? One second? No, it's three seconds. Let's try Killer Instinct for a little while. I'll probably swap for Instincto later. I don't think I'm going to be playing Hayabusa Gauntlets for very long. Shoot, for all I know, I might die here. Then we aren't playing Jack Squat. Interesting. Yeah, it's just about a reset. Point kill. I don't know if you all use the uh, grapple hook very much. If you don't, completely understandable. Definitely seems like something to die on. Uh, was that skin that you saw in the video from Wednesday the new one? I believe so, but that that video had multiple Rampagers everybody that video had multiple deaths and resets in it So it may not have been the skin. Kinda depends on like what point in the video it was. See, I'd rather just use Phaser if I were to do something like this. Not that anything's wrong with Grapple Hook. But Hayabusa is not very strong. So the grapple damage is going to be a little, uh, a little low. We're getting resets, though. Wow, it actually tried to get to the other side of me. Messed up. Now what Grapple can do that Phaser doesn't really do a good job of is interrupting attacks. So I don't think a single monster has gotten off its attack yet, except maybe a knife thrower. Oh wow, the crowbar came back. Huh. See, don't even have to chase stuff down. Just throw out the hook. Don't even have to know a monster's actually there. You just fish. Ow. Rip. I 
Okay. It's been a while since I've used the Hayabusa gauntlets too. So I think we're due for a game. Interrupt. Cannot parry. That is not a shield that's in our hands. Ah, the battle. Uh, we should be pretty close to the exit. I can do that right after. We get through prison deaths. Nice. Actually, you forgot that we still needed the key. Alright. You know, I personally like the fire grenade better. But if I'm going to Moras, the fire grenade's not gonna do anything. <laughs> hey, Blue. Good to see you. Let's, um... Think I'll skip the wave of denial. Or maybe not. Maybe we ditch the grapple hook. Wave on a short cooldown might be kind of cool. In before we just crash in Moras, and like it doesn't even matter what we take because we're gonna lose everything anyway. Finally playing literally Scorpion and I just got rid of it. Um Sindel? Maybe Sindel is the wave of denial build. Ah, uh, see we're going right to left again. It's so weird. I gotta reset this. Um, if you go open wounds, it's not bad. But I'm probably gonna take... It's actually kind of awkward. I'm just gonna take Soldier for now. But what we would like to see is bonus damage to critical hits just some that's way too much i'm not gonna even do it it's gonna have to stay as is see look at this the one door going in one door going out that is a home design failure like you don't see that on hgtv you don't see R real estate twins what's the name of that don't want to say good or bad, but that show, I don't remember. But either way, you absolutely do not build one door one way and one door the other way. Hey, Snorly. Yeah, this is going to be something special. There we go. Property Brothers. Exactly. <laughs> I'm telling you all, Twitch chat never ever drops a reference. Like, I don't think I've ever had some, like, <laughs> obscure reference go untested by Twitch chat. See, this kind of feels better than Grapple Hook already. Just saw the JoJo reference. What was it? We've actually never watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Exposed as a fake weeb once again. My anime card revoked. Wow, I got bit. Oh, the main weapon? 
Oh yeah. I was even playing some uh, set in League of Legends this weekend. Support set actually feels kind of fun. Not even kind of, it is actually fun. Oh, I expected this to be the curse. The description. Yeah, the gauntlets only description is inflicts critical hits if the victim has less than 40%. If that's some kind of reference to JoJo, I'm 100% not gonna know. the lasers. Um, even though this makes me a little weaker, I'll take it for now because I'm feeling a little poor. Uh, the one on the wiki. Gotcha. Yeah, see, just spam skills. You see a monster, you press L2. If L2 doesn't do anything, press R2. And then if you're lucky, you can punch them and they will die. Hey, Carf. There we go. That's my last monster for this no hit. Jeez. More vertical lasers. This is like all I ever get. There's my shield. Poison spreads to other enemies. Okay. Fans are now banned. That's my curse. My curse, not your curse. Named after Ryu Haibusa from Ninja Gaiden, I totally pick up the JoJo reference too. There's actually um another game that I kinda should think about playing more, and that's Messenger. Got it for free on Epic Game Store. And I feel as though it should probably get some play. I'm gonna leave that tornado just in case. I don't think I'm gonna play it, but you never know. Wow. Wait, I can get shot standing there. Like, never assume the Teemo cannot reach you. Yeah, we were getting, um... Stream Raiders battle music requests? From people wanting to actually do... That game. Messenger. Soundtrack. Is Red Tornado any good? So... I would say probably not, but the thing that you can do with the Red Tornado, uh, Red Tornadoes have a lot of oil application. Um, so what you can do is you can run something like Fire Blast, and again, play Fake Tactics. You get cooldown reduction from Instincto.
torch. Um, you all actually really like torch. But we're fighting Mama Tick. Doesn't Torch do absolutely nothing? Wow. Let's keep it going. Challenge run? Oh, jeez. Well, I know I can definitely use it in the biome. Even though I paid money for that Hayabusa gauntlet. Yeah, we're about to see Carf. Another legendary is below. Wonder what it is. You know, it's been a long time since we had legendary boots. Legendary uh, Spartan sandals. Uh, do I read any manga or web novels? Not at all. A matter of fact, the last time I sat and read, like, a volume of something was probably 2009. It's probably been 10 years since I've actually read a full volume of anything. We're playing Flint, by the way. 40% bonus damage, victims slow all nearby enemies. It's been a long time since I've had a Flint game. Solo leveling, just finished season one. I've gotten hit by every tick so far. Keep the torch? You all have seen enough torch. <laughs> Time to bring back the, uh, the flint. Chat never likes it when I play flint. So we're gonna try to open some brains today. Show you all the full potential. Read the light novel. Is solo leveling the name of the novel? You all threw me for a loop just then. What's the optimal way to use flint? What's the strats? Definitely jumping and falling. So at maximum height, uh, you can still get stunned on the way down, but you can always get the attack off and kill whatever's below you. And then as you climb, you can see how I'm prepping the attack before I'm even on the level. You can even jump, square, jump, and attack the level above you. That's probably what I should be doing more, but I always forget. So using the terrain to your advantage is huge, uh, but then you also need to roll a really good flint. This one happens to have 40% bonus damage, crit damage, and slows nearby enemies. Solo leveling is a Korean manhwa. Full color, pretty good. I have never heard the term manhwa before. You have taught me a new word. Thank you. That's actually really cool. sell this 
Uh, always struggle getting the crit without taking extra damage. Yeah, and jumping helps too. That way you can actually... A lot of monsters don't even want to attack you until you're at their level. So swinging in midair often helps out. Good for saying a theme. Sounds interesting, Mono Ice, that's for sure. Where's the best place to read it? And Mono Ice is definitely not a paid actor. Let me just get that out of the way. Uh, we're going from right to left again. This is so weird. <laughs> Kinda wish I had a turret, but it'll be fine. Okay, so let's try to get the wave of denial that can poison. I don't want to pay too much though. There it is. All right, wave of denial poisons enemy on hit. Bonus damage to poison is only on our grenade. So I guess it's whatever. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about going from right to left. My brain is like completely screwed up now. The Dead Cells Manwa? We could do uh Oh, even this is right to left. Wow. You can buy make your own manga on Steam, I think. That's a thing, right? Manga editor on Steam. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Our damage is not very good. Now we got this phase twice. All right. Interrupt. Did not interrupt that. Wow. The wave just did not want to come out. is awful and that's me baiting myself to do the uh full crit probably don't even have to do that why do i parry after rolling excellent question horse man that is um almost ingrained now the reason why we do that is that every once in a while mama tick will I have to go the other way mama tick will do two attacks in the same spot exactly a double hit so when we're rolling against the wall we won't be able to roll again for the second um upward spike so in that case i just do wake up parries no matter what and then i should be able to dodge roll um the one that's after the parry. Should. Anyway. Okie dokie. So, I'm at half health. Half malaise. We're gonna be running instinct. Instinct Frenzy dead inside, I think. As like the final build.
Yeah, if I were to get a frantic sword, this would also work for frantic sword too. Why is it right to left? Your guess is as good as mine, Boz. Uh, Alpha 1.8 isn't fully released. Probably going to be a while too. Yeah, I think this one's going to take a while, especially since there's new monsters. Oh, they they put rats here. I think Graveyard is a good place for rats. Does this look weird to you all? Like, shouldn't there be something holding this platform up? Or am I just, like, reaching? I don't know why, something about this scene is kind of weird. Alright. Yeah, but see how I'm doing like a jumping attack? A lot of monsters will actually wait until you come to the ground before they attack you. Get my health back. Feeling healthy. How many monsters do we have now? I don't know. We've only seen the rat so far on Graveyard. We've seen rats, crab samurai, blobs, um, oven knight. And that's four. So we still have to find two more monsters, right? Uh, yeah, Boz, we're playing on the Alpha. Oh, thank you, Spud, for answering that. So this is brand new content. Yeah, we made that joke, too. Crabs getting katana before the player does. Feels bad. Oh, they're rats? I didn't even see that. All right. That one was kind of annoying. Like, that monster having a laser can be a problem. Four times giant killer run today. Managed to get to the lab, die to the birds. Rip. The double birds? You didn't want to do the, uh, the V.me strat, aka the strat everyone probably does. you but you all see how i like fall and just hold the button while we descend that to me is how you really want to use the flint of course you can't really do that on a boss which is why i got freaking destroyed by mama tick poisons the enemy Okay. Did Motion Twin change any weapons? I think 
So they added some new affixes, Snorly. Like affixes that weren't even in the game. They, I think, extended the duration of Wings of the Crow. And I want to say that's it so far. But this is the very first patch of the alpha. Uh, there's going to be multiple iterations, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, brand new affixes. There's new affixes that do stuff when effects end. So, for example, if you're using corrupted power, it's an affix that does like an explosion of ice around you or freezes all enemies, drops oil, drops a poison cloud when the effect ends. And then there's new ones for turrets too, where if the turret gets destroyed, it does something. I haven't got a chance to play with that yet. Oh, freaking rats! There's rat champions in my game. Oh, uh, wow, I almost just ate that. Interrupt. Could have gotten that without getting hit. Oh, well. Yeah, there's a new item called the portable door. Uh, last time I got that, our game crashed. But I would love to see it again. Yeah, I don't think Flint works unless you have... Interesting. Wonder why I didn't kill that bat. Anyway, what I was going to say was that Flint only works if you have victims slow all nearby enemies. Like, that thing is a godsend on this weapon. For the Motion Twins changelog, they added skin, weapon, five monsters, new diet, some affixes and some fixes. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think we've only seen five monsters so far, if not just four. Then again, this is the farthest we've been since the patch went live. Because of the amount of bugs we experienced, the number of crashes. How can you play alpha? You have to be on Steam first off. Um, if you can confirm that you are on Steam, then we can definitely no, 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 no. go Look through at that how to do it. We're dead. There's the frantic. Uh, Skono Squito. I 100% butchered your name, and I really apologize for that. Uh, welcome. Glad to have you here. When is this going to be playable? I can't imagine it's going to be anytime soon. It's too many brand new things. You're on Steam? Okay. So what you want to do... Is... And let me see if I can actually do this. Here you go. So, Dead Cells. You right-click it. Properties. And then you click on Betas. And then there will be a scroll option to go to the actual alpha. But it's just properties, betas, and then you'll see alpha listed for you to opt into. Just make sure you copy your uh, game save before you do anything. It's better that you have multiple copies of one save before something bad happens. Yeah, I go. Okay, Spud. Have a good night. 
Thanks for stopping by and thanks for answering people's questions too. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Uh, We're welcome, dead. Goo. You made a video how to change your Steam avatar. So you mean make a video on how to opt into the alpha? I mean, I guess if people are asking on the stream, then that means there's people who want to know. Yeah, I'll think about that. Mainly, I have to think about how to actually do it. Short video? No, you all know how I can get. I can freaking push a video out 20 minutes real easy. Oh yeah, because you can opt into the old versions on Steam. I actually forgot about that. Alright, I really don't want to do the curse on this map if I can help it. Yeah, there's no monsters left anyway. So we're just going to take that curse into Sepulchre. Then again, they did nerf Graveyard. So what if we took the curse into Graveyard? Not Graveyard, I'm sorry, Caverns. They nerfed the Caverns. So maybe the real play is to go Caverns here. Now, Cavern sounds like a instant death. I do have a shield, though. And I do have Wave of Denial. That's a lot of uh, demon prevention. Cavern equals F big time. You might be right. We still need to find new monsters, too. I wonder where the last two monsters are going to be that we haven't seen. Don't want that. All right, so this is a cell. Yeah. So I think the monster level itself has been reduced. So that means their HP and their attack power should be lower. But then also, I think the density of some of the monsters, demons specifically, should also be lower. And we're going to find out. Like, it's been a while since I've been on Cavern. I do like the map. It's just when you're streaming Dead Cells, this is instantly 20 minutes added to your run compared to Sepulcher. It's, like, actually insane. Yeah, that is not a monster you want to see first. Okay, so we have Oven Knight. Not going to shoot me? Taking it real easy. We do not want to misplay on this map. That's terrible. Oh, not again. Should bleed out. There we go. Yeah, I already saw one bird. There's an elite bird right next to me. Where's all the demons? Oh, there they are. All right. A little worried. There we go. All right, now we can just do whatever we want. So there's birds. Still. 
demons. Yeah, that's another tech uh, for anyone asking, like, how do you use the flint? You can also just do this, like, if you can't go up and down. This is how you do it. Free charge from below, hit whatever's up top. Shovel Knight enemies everywhere? How do you feel about that? You think there's too many? Or do you think there should be more? Oh, we need to come up with a name for this restaurant. I mean, I guess you can just call it the hospital because it gives you med kits, but I feel like hospital is kind of too generic of a name. Like we have Panera Bread if you're playing um, Baguette. We have Whole Foods if you're playing Fruititarian. Um, also Whole Foods if you're playing Vegetarian. We have Boston Market if you're playing Castlevania. Canteen. Okay. Very war-esque. I get it. Half-Life Lab. That sounds too easy. I probably should have taken that rapier, by the way, but I really like this flint. Why did that jump down? I didn't do anything. A cavern without rats? The demons ate all the rats. That's why they're going around killing players, because they have nothing better to do. Oh, I should have done turret. Crap. You have to prepare ourselves for the giant. Oh, I thought you meant canteen as in... Um, like an army canteen. Wow. This is a dead end anyway. Like, what's the point of this area? <laughs> the calf, the food place. There's no food though. It's a med kit. So that's why we need a new name. new crowbar is that the hit do I lose against the giant if I take a crowbar also a hand of the king is a thing hey a thunder Wow, this thing packs a punch when you get the crit. Huh. Okay. I like it. Ooh, double damage. Alright, I got scared. But it worked. Or fine. Heard about the podcast we got going on? And that's all um, King DKC and uh, Bahoa. I only got asked to, like, I, I don't know if it should be guest speaking. Like, I haven't really gotten into the specifics yet. But that's like all those two. And you're right, they are really uh, doing great things, even coming up with that as an idea. All right, we're looking for that phaser.
There we go. I'm not gonna play it. Phaser is really tough versus the giant. If I had to, though, I would replace the wave of denial. Maybe Telluric Shock, actually. Ascension 16, nice. Way past where I'm at. Yeah, Silent's super good. Like, it always feels like you're low-key mega genius when you're playing Silent and stuff actually works. Uh, hey, Musashio. Just as a reminder, I have not seen a single episode of Rick and Morty. So yeah, this is actually not half bad at all. Like, I don't know if maybe Caverns got over nerfed. Is that even possible? Okay. Like, I'm just gonna press L2. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah, maybe Phaser was the right thing with Crowbar. Wow, he blocked it. That's sick. Like I don't need anything. R and B level twelve. That could kill the giant. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say that now. That's probably if you want to kill the giant, it's probably the right thing to take. Cavern needs more rats. It feels a little empty. Not gonna lie, since they took out all the, not all the demons, but there's like one demon on this platform when there was probably four in the past. Wow. You burn the ground when you run. That's so cool. Caves are literally cave right now. What's the S though? So even though they reduce the amount of time that we're spending here. Cave still feels like a 20 minute map, which is fine. Like that might be the balance. But like I said, when you're streaming this game, A 20 minute biome is sometimes a little long, sometimes longer than what I would like to do for you all. Oh, we didn't get a V.60. Wait, there's like no monsters on this map. I wonder how much we actually killed. Couldn't have been more than like a hundred. Which means Moraz has like two times the monsters as this map. Yeah, if they want to get rid of the demons, just replace half the demons with rats. Like so far. Run! I didn't find the cavern key, which is kind of interesting. 
poor biome. It got nerfed. So it's actually like a feels bad for bi for the biome. They did it dirty. Oh, that looks really weird. All right, so we did not find the the key is already unlocked and I don't have to find it. Huh. Okay. Yes, you can parry that laser. Thank you, Bentley. Um, that laser and the spinning laser, but you cannot parry the vertical laser. Um, or the aura. Okay, we're taking this. I'll drop wave of denial, I think. Trying to think, what would I rather have for a hand of the king? Probably wave of denial. I'm a really big fan of Telluric Shock. But if I think about all the other items I have to, well, all the other bosses I have to fight, Telluric's probably not the right choice. All right, I think we're good. Uh, how am I liking 1.8 so far? I actually like everything except so far caverns feels a little empty. And then I still think we have to find a couple of the monsters. I don't think we've seen all of the new monsters yet. Caventy? Is that a real word? Oh, one's in Sepulchre? Ah, oh, and I skipped that too. Rip. Um. So Instinct does nothing here. I have no cooldown reduction at all. I'm not gonna worry about it. I mean, it's the giant, so it's the worst that could happen. Oh, cab empty. Thank you, uh, Blackheart. See, it's hard out there. You never know what people mean. Uh, let's try to get bonus damage to poison or bleeding. Either one is fine. 50% when you're full. Does this thing even get bonus damage? Burning. Frozen. Poison. Okay, so it can. I don't know how I feel about this all of a sudden. All right. Everybody's favorite, the giant. <laughs> Just roll with it. Uh, here we go. All right. Do it, boy. Go. Cheers, heart. Good lucks in the chat. I still owe you all an overexplained giant video. Wow. <laughs> I would say we are not doing the best damage in the world. I think this is definitely a weapon you need open wounds with.
gotta break that. All right, it broke. You can knock away these crystals with wave denial. Try to stop it. Just gonna avoid damage. I'd rather go for the no hit if I can help it. Oh no. We were so close. And another one. Alright. That was a little too close. Looks better than Marksman Bow. Where does the eye come from? He just has an eye in his skull. You should have an eye in your skull too. If I mean, no offense if you don't, of course. I'm not assuming anything here. All right. Do you all know if there's a new monster in High Peak Castle? I'm not gonna skip just yet, but if there's a new monster in High Peak, I'll go. Otherwise, I'm not going to that place. Should be. You think not? I think not. Okay, we did get the no hit. So maybe we can get something cool. I'm gonna assume no. There's no way we get a cool item here. Legendary Hemorrhage. That is a cool item. I don't know if I really want to play this. We play Red Hemorrhage a lot. It's really good though. Like I should probably just take Crowbar to the end of the game. So goodbye to like a really, really, really good Hemorrhage. <laughs> Rip F's to the hemorrhage for sure. And then we'll reset and get open wounds. Frenzy, open wound, dead inside. I'm pretty sure Crowbar needs this for bosses. Crowbar non-crit is as strong as hemorrhage crit? 40,000 damage? Was it really? That hemorrhage did like 30% bonus to crit. What's the crowbar's gimmick? You're supposed to be able to destroy items like on the map. So boxes, doors, any of that stuff. And that enables the crit for like two seconds. Uh, but in bosses... I have nothing to destroy. So that is why we have changed from Instincto to Open Wounds. Oh yeah, it was 35k? Wow. Yeah, I'm okay with non-critical on bosses. Wow, every single one of those missed. Damn. 
Dang it. Rip no hit. I hate open wounds. Like, it is not applying anything but one stack of bleed. It's like he doesn't care. Ah, oh, I got tagged one time. Missed out on the no hit. We could have had double crowbar action. We got cash though. That was like $2,000. Okay. Um, as a reminder, not after this run. I think I'm going to play until like 9.30. Uh, we will be next gaming it. We're going to play some Isaac today. Uh, we'll potentially do like a week of Isaac this week. Um, and then next week might be a week of either one step from Eden or we go back to finish Celeste. All right. So, I mean, the item's okay. I feel like it's kind of better than Hayabusa Gauntlet. Uh, but of course, Hayabusa would have given me crits at the end of the fight. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, as you can see, I'm getting critical hits now because there's little boxes on the map I can break. But what I can say is that crowbar is like definitely a brutality weapon. Like this is a very, very brutal feeling. I tried to parry that for some reason. I don't know why. With enough synergy, it'll drop a boss. Yeah, it it did work. It wasn't useless by far. Like, probably the flint I had would have been much worse. But flint is like a special beast of its own. I think for most people, if they took the flint, it's probably worse than what they had. Everything must go. Oh, I'm broke. Look at me thinking I can actually afford an item. Hello. <laughs> Freaking Shantae, what was she even doing? Hey, Grant. Oh, the protection. That's a level 10 last ring aura. I feel like I didn't get much health back. I wonder if that got nerfed at some point. All right, we're chilling. Thank you. If we take a couple hits, it's not a big deal. I have four health pods. We can always heal up. Malays. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, thank you, Bum Bum. I'm actually out. Is that a bat? It is a crowbar, actually. Um, so the crowbar is a new item for 1.8 Bum Bum. 
And what it does is you can see all kinds of items uh, on the map. And those items are breakable. And they've always been breakable. Uh, but if you do break them, you actually get critical hits on the crowbar. Supposedly it has something to do with Half-Life. I have no idea. I've never played a Half-Life game before. But if you all say it, like that's the deep lore, I'll believe you. Nice elite. Crowbar is a melee weapon from Half-Life, but does it like what does it have to do with breaking boxes? Or maybe the only thing you could break boxes with was the crowbar? Seems bad. So Bum Bum? You can basically imagine the crowbar is basically like a Hayabusa gauntlet for biomes where you almost always have the crit. Not always, but pretty easy to get crits and biomes. And then on bosses, you don't get crits. And that basically sums up this weapon very well. But the base hit on the weapon is pretty decent. Matter of fact, I could really see this weapon as a baseball bat. Like, if we ever got weapon skins in Dead Cells, like beat the game five times with a crowbar, unlock the skin, I'd love to have it as a baseball bat. Alright, we're gonna go to the left. Nothing here. Yeah, thank you for that Half-Life explanation. Alex looks like fun. Like, every stream that I've seen of Alex, like, cracks me up every single time. Oh, that was a 100k crit. Okay. Um, I'll probably come back for that. Once I clear all the biome. I'm getting bonus gold for cells. So we may as well keep it up as long as we can. Ooh. Outplayed. Played it like a fiddle. There we go. All right. Currently doing a 2BC run starting off from last night. So you're gonna die? Oh yeah. Like, I don't know if that's... Wow. There's another crowbar up there. I don't know if everyone has to deal with that, but whenever I start up a run, from a previous run, I almost always die. It's like an actual curse of not finishing a run in one day. It's a good bridge between, oh God. Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Do you mean Alex? Blackheart? I'm not gonna know the story, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for it. Looks super fun, I just don't have the hardware to do something like that. I missed! Get back here. Hey, 
as I said, you can always use your head for these fights. I know you all often see me just like YOLO. But I'd highly recommend just using your head if you have the choice. Alright, full HP. Wow, Lacerating Aura is really good at breaking random, like, pots and pans on the map. You didn't know there was a headbutt ability in the game? You have to beat the game one time, Narwhal. That's the headbutt. Pokemon style. That didn't die. That is my first time doing this strat and have a bird not die on the way down. Like, even if it doesn't get shocked, it normally just dies to the distance. I'm actually surprised this hasn't been nerfed yet. Yo V, if you hold the direction while running, Shantae will never hit you. I do know that. Uh, for show. Sure. I don't typically do it because, like, just in case it gets hot fixed. I would hate for you all to, like, oh, I'm fighting, you know, little genie. I know exactly what to do against genies. You just run into the wall and then the thing freaking blasts you. Like, I would feel so bad if someone died that way. All right, I'm going to go for this crowbar. Might be a rip run, who knows. Oh, wow. I am not paying attention. Oh. Goes to show how many times I've done that. I'm surprised that didn't do a ton more damage. Like, typically, that really, really hurts. Alright. I want my crowbar. Dang it. Watch that ends up being like a rank 9 crowbar. Like the weakest crowbar we could ever get. Have I been enjoying the new content? I have. Ah, oh, it's actually... No, it's better. Because we have open wounds. And it does bone damage to bleeding. We actually take that. Holy moly, that was worth it. What are these numbers? You mean the damage numbers? 55,000 DPS? Yeah, that's... That is a number. I will agree with you. No crit, by the way. 50,000 DPS. Huh. Let's see what the other shop had. If I can drop Wave of Denial, then we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I'm telling you, Plastic. 2BC Baby Jail. It is a real thing. Alright. We're done. Final build. I'm actually going to take Tainted Flask, I think. Just to, like, really nail the coffin down. Tainted Flask, Open Wounds, Dead Inside. Two BC Baby Jail. 
basically a playpen. You know, bars on all sides. You stick the baby in there and like give it one toy, maybe a blanket. That's 2 BC in a nut nutshell. You're only allowed to have this much fun. Because you're going to get absolutely destroyed if you try to do anything else. All right, we're going to reset. Final build is Tainted Flask, Open Wounds, Dead Inside. I'm going to heal once we get to the boss. Get the bonus damage. And then we should be in good shape. I kind of wish like this was a little better. And I kind of wish I got a turret to replace this, but I got unlucky in the shop. Yeah, keep an eye out for the actual bleeding. I feel like for some reason the bleeding falls off really quickly on this boss. Like say after the first phase, there will no more there will be no more dots allowed. But we'll see. It's been a while. Maybe that was just something that I noticed that wasn't completely true. Uh, but if it does happen, you know, maybe it should be reported. I don't know. It is boss time, so let's get in there. Cover your eyes, cover your ears. He doesn't really, or she doesn't really talk except for text bubbles. But I guess you don't have to cover your ears. Definitely make sure you can breathe, though. So like I said, we're going to drink first and then fight. Uh, I could knock that. Uh, no, we just say that. Uh, plastic because spoilers oh the wave denial clean <laughs> beating the brakes off of them wish this map had some boxes I could destroy just getting little taps I think I'm going to drink on the next biome. Oh, I could probably drink right here and still get the bonus damage. Even though it doesn't do anything because he has damage reduction anyway. Little taps. Yeah, sit down. Oh, he held that for so long. Sit down. Get the crowbar in the mouth. Oh, okay. That actually felt pretty good. And that's like no critical hits. It's literally base damage with open wounds. And I think the bleeding never like fell off. So that's actually a good thing. Except like during transition phases, we were actually able to maintain the bleeding in between hits. So that's what's really important. Bah, bah, bah. There we go. Finally, I get rewarded for a good kill. I never get this saying anymore. All I get is you need me or something dumb like that. The last phase, the bleed fell off after about 2 point, uh, 0.25 seconds. Okay, so that's still kind of annoying, but at least for the beginning stages of the fight, it felt like as long as I was actually swinging, the bleed stayed. Yo, winnable though.
Hey, we beat the game. Finish the game with a boss stem cell. We did it. Achievement City. <laughs>